welcome back to Graveyard Creepers. Uh, we have an exciting build today for you. So I've already pre-cut some of my wood and I'll give you the measurements on this. Uh, what we're going to do today guys, we're going to make a uh, Frankenstein table. Now I've seen several different styles and I'm going to go with uh, the one I like the best and I'm going to show you that. I kind of like this one the best out of the ones I've seen, if you guys can see that. So, I don't think it's going to be that hard to make. What I did, guys, is the bottom part that the quarter core is going to sit on is 36 inches. Then I cut two 45s on each end. These here are 40, uh, 43 and a half inches tall. And what I'm gonna do with these guys is, the one, the one in the picture has a round uh, fitting wheels on, but I got the, these long ones because the round ones I found are oval, kind of like, and I didn't like them. So I'm gonna use this one here. And we'll put them on there. We'll, we'll paint all this black, put some copper and silver tones in it and see what it looks like. And then we'll build the table for it. So. Uh, I think it's going to look pretty cool. I'm going to set you up where you can see me drill it, stick it all together, put our braces together. Uh, my table is probably going to be about 36 inches wide, so I'm going to make 38 inches wide for my table to, to be able to accommodate my table. So I'll still have an inch on each side to play with. So let's go ahead and uh, get that started. If you guys have any questions on the, the size and the dimensions of everything, uh, just put them in the comments. I don't mind replying back to you or hit me on Facebook. Uh, my name's everywhere, so you should, I should be able to easy, I should be easy to find. And I can give you the dimensions on how I build it and what I'm going to do. Now the board itself is going to be eight foot long by 36 inches wide. Once we get these, the stand built, we'll build that table and, uh, get it painted for you and show you what it looks like. So let's go ahead and get started on this thing.
So what I did is I cut these half moon shapes out. I just used a bucket, scrolled it out. So we'll measure this out. We've got approximately nine and a quarter. So we'll half that and put it on a half a 48. Guys, we're gonna hang and glue that too. Just give us some extra strength. Oh boy, she hot today. These are for guys is we're going to drill a hole in the top of these here and and one through all the way through the end and one partial way through the end of this. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. So I need to work out how I'm going to do it. So what I'm going to do, guys, I don't know if you can see me or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this metal bar. I'm going to drill a hole all the way through this and part way through this, part about halfway through this here. And I'll drill a hole through this and a hole through that. I can stick my table up there and stick my bar all the way through it. And uh, I think we can make it work. So we're going to try it anyway, see what happens. Alright. So I'm done, guys. I'm just grinding a little bit on this. Drill the hole out and hopefully we can get it get it set up there where we can get it going on. And I'm using an inch pipe. An inch and an eighth. Bit, so I have a little bit of room to maneuver a little bit.
now I just need to figure out how I'm going to drill the, all the way through these and um, stick this bar in there and see what happens. Go down probably about seven inches. See, all this stuff, guys, is I have no plans for. You can't find plans for it. So you guess at it and go from there. So don't be, afraid, don't be afraid to try it. If you screw it up, no biggie. Start over and do it again. So let's drill this out. Let's see what we get. You could be wrong. So there she is guys, now what we're going to do is we're going to put a foot place down here for you to stick your feet on and I'll show you that in the picture, hopefully. So if you guys can see, that's his feet sitting down here and it just looks like a 4x4 on it. So we're just gonna put like a 4x4 on it. And we're not gonna worry about the straps and stuff like that and whatnot until later on. I'm also going to find a thingamabob, a wheel to put on there. It's not gonna happen today, but I'm gonna get it painted up and get it to where you can see it, then we'll if I find a wheel, I'll put it on it and not give you an update on it or whatever. But let's put that little block on down here so we can get it painted. So 
in the in the picture it's just it's just squared off. It's not even nothing fancy. I kind of like it that way actually. So what we'll do stick this on there and uh, we'll attach this on there. And it looks like it's all the way at the bottom. Me personally, uh, I might stick it up a little bit, a couple of inches. That can, that don't look too bad. Eleven and nine, so we'll do ten. Ten and ten should be just about perfect. And we'll go up. Uh, let's go up two inches. I like that part where it sits there. So what we're going to do is, I think what I'm going to do is drill this from the other side and uh, get it to hold on so it doesn't have any visible screws in the front. It just makes it look a little cleaner, in my personal opinion. I didn't put the glue on. It's okay. <sighs> All right. So another thing I got, guys, I'll show you. That's right. Carriage bolts. You all know how I like my carriage bolts. And you can't do a Frankenstein ordeal without some, some kind of carriage bolt. So we're going to put a couple of them down here, some down here. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I think I got 14. Uh, let me see what we got here. So that means I can use seven on each side. So now we'll have to figure out how we're going to do seven. So I think what I'm going to do is put one up here, one down in here somewhere. So I'll put four and I'll put three down, down this here. Now that'll give me my seven. So sounds good to me. We'll find a little gibbet bit.
What we're going to do now is we're going to paint her black, and I've got some black and gray. And we'll take, once the black dries, we'll take a gray and we'll put some highlights in it. Just kind of give it some kind of character. All right, guys, I don't know how well you can see that. It's kind of light. But this is going to be the wheel uh, that turns the table up and down. I know it's hard to see, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. And we'll put it on, then I'll come back and show you what it looks like and get it painted. So what I'm going to do with the, this wheel is I'm going to drill a hole out. I just cut it out of three quarter inch plywood. So we're gonna drill a hole in it, stick it in there and see what happens. So let me find a bit to fit this. Like I said, I know you can't see me too well over there and I apologize, but I got you on charge. So 
So <clears throat> we'll drill a hole out in this. Guys, I'm just making one because I don't have one, so it's just something you can do. And it's going to look just fine. Or, we hope it does anyway. To get a real one and put on there. Uh, I don't have a real one, so we just made one. Now I got some copper, and we'll take and put some copper on it. We're going to drive for us copper. Now we'll do the inside. Is. We'll let you charge up and we'll come back and uh, I'm going to show you how it is. It's all done. So I'm going to show you it done. So there you go, guys. This is at the end of the video. We are finished with our Frankenstein table. Uh, I don't have Frankenstein built yet, so we put the zombie on here just to kind of give you an idea what it's going to look like. Frankenstein is probably going to be another uh, foot taller. And uh, this is a pretty, pretty simple build. Uh, I just went through and looked at a picture and figured out how to do it and just came up with my own design and went that way. Now this, this will fully uh, rotate all the way back. This will go all the way back to the other side. Uh, I haven't made a thing to stationary here because I don't want to display it this way. I want to display it with it down and uh, what I'll do is I'll do a little walk around and show you what all I did and uh, maybe give you some ideas on building your own. So let me show you what I did. All right guys, here's the table. It is eight foot long, 36 inches wide. And uh, we painted it black. Then I went through with some greens, blues, and coppers and uh, dry brushed it. And same way with the, the post. Now these posts are 43 inches tall. 
and this here is seven inches and I put some carriage bolts in because you know how I like my carriage bolts if I had some bigger bolts which I didn't I would have put some down at the bottom so I got to make a point to do that and um, I put a 4x4 four four down here at the bottom so the feet can uh, have a place to rest on now once I get this done uh, get my Frankenstein done I'll put some different stuff on you know uh, straps putting around the arms and around the chest and the head and stuff like that but right now this is what we got um, also cut this out of three quarter inch plywood and just put it on there put a bolt in there for cranking it uh, it does not crank but uh, there it is and I put a piece of one inch pipe it goes halfway into this one it goes through this round piece I uh, cut out with a jigsaw out of an uh, inch and a half or two inch piece of wood and I did two of them and I just ran it all the way across and ran it about three quarters inside this one as well actually it sticks out a little bit by right in here and I took a piece of another little piece of pipe and stuck in there for the for the handle so uh, it's non-functioning, but it uh, looks kind of cool. each and every, every one of you watching and uh, hope that this inspires you to go and build your own uh, so this was uh, fairly simple to build um, just some 4 by 4s 2 by 3s and a piece of 3 8 plywood and some screws and you can build the exact same thing and uh, so we hope you guys enjoy this video this build and stay tuned we're going to have a Frankenstein on this thing before too long uh, I'm trying to find the right Frankenstein ordeal I want to do. Now I've built boots already. Uh, I'll put the link to that in the description so you can go watch that video. And uh, don't forget to go and check out Keith at Cobwebs and Candlesticks and Dave at the Weird Kid Show. Uh, make sure you show them some love and support. And if you guys haven't already, hit that like button. That, uh, that helps my channel out a little bit. And if you guys have any questions or anything, put them in the comments below. If you want them a little quicker, send me a message on Facebook. You can't miss me. Uh, also, guys, don't forget to go and check out the Trio of Terror. Uh, we post uh, our builds there. Uh, if you've got builds you want to post, by all means, post them in there. Uh, we would love to see them. So there you go, guys. We appreciate you watching. And uh, like always, guys, you don't have to be perfect. Just build it. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Keep it creepy.